Colton West is an action star shooting a movie scene. The action sequence is botched up as an explosive device malfunctions, which makes Colton angry. He argues with the film crew and the director. The director wants to keep shooting, but Colton thinks he has done enough work for a day. The director, Darren, wants to do a scene with giant cockroaches, but Colton hates bugs. He took the job thinking it was an action movie and didn't expect the scene with bugs. Of course, he has not read the script as usual. They argue over the matter, and Colton decides to leave the set. Darren reacts by firing the actor. 20 years later, Colton is a bygone action hero. Now, he has family problems, is in debt to his agent, and is in trouble with the police for getting into a bar fight. The biggest challenge is that Colton doesn't understand that his hotshot days are over. Driving back from the set in heavy traffic, Colton sees Santa Monica Mountain erupt in a huge fireball. It's a spectacular sight. The mountain blows up like a volcano right before his eyes. He gets out of the car as balls of fire land all around him. The mountain is pouring fire and smoke. Colton starts running to save his life. He trips and falls and sees a giant spider with fire coming out of its mouth crawling out of a car ahead of him. Colton has seen enough. The creature standing in front of him is completely out of this world. Something is terribly wrong. Colton turns around and starts running away as the creature starts to chase him. Colton manages to get into his car and reverses out of the freeway filled with burning vehicles. He called home to tell his family about the volcanic explosion and the giant spiders, but there was no answer as the internet and phone lines have gone down with the volcanic explosion. Colton finally arrives home by taking back roads and tells Olivia about the fire-spitting spiders, but she is pissed at him because Colton missed taking Wyatt for a soccer game early that day and the TV tells a story about the bar fight Colton had gotten into. Unfortunately, Colton did not tell his wife about the bar fight until she learned about it from TV news. Wyatt, their son, had gone out with friends. Colton tries to call him to warn him about the spiders. Los Angeles is no longer safe. Colton asks Olivia to pack her bags as they need to leave the area immediately. With Wyatt not answering the phone, Colton decides to go out looking for him. Still fuming, Olivia agrees to pack. Wyatt is hanging out with his friends, Jordan, Eli, and Travis. They enjoy riding bikes and pulling off stunts. Suddenly, they see smoke rising from a building nearby and helicopters in the sky. They decide to check it out. While on the way to find Wyatt, Colton has to abandon his car after coming across melting tar on the road. The road has become so hot, even the rubber in his shoe's soles start to melt. Car tires burst due to heat, stranding Colton on the road. But Colton is determined. He grabs a shotgun and moves out on foot. At home, Olivia calls Doris to check up on her but has to hang up mid-call as Doris' dog, Coco, starts barking. Doris goes to investigate, and to her horror, she finds charred remains of the dog and a fire-spitting spider inside her house. Meanwhile, Wyatt and his friends come across a sinkhole in the road, from which fire erupts. It is something they have never seen. Lava and smokes are coming out of the sinkhole, and they move out of danger just in time. Cohen is still on the road, trying to hitchhike, when Joe, a tourist bus driver, stops and recognizes Colton from his early movies. Joe asks for a selfie, but all Colton wants is to move downtown to find Wyatt. Colton steals the bus and drives away while Joe is focused on taking a photograph. Lava-spitting spiders attack Wyatt and his friends at a warehouse. They manage to get inside and close the door, but the spiders catch Eli, and Jordan's leg is burnt badly. Olivia is worried about Doris. She goes over to Doris's place as she doesn't answer the phone. She finds smoke inside the house and a giant spider eating what is left of Doris, which makes her run back to her place screaming. Colton is on the way downtown on the bus. The tour bus is attacked by two spiders, which scare the passengers. Colton shoots one spider with his shotgun with the help of Chris and manages to lose the other spider by slamming on the brakes, just like he did in the movies. They drive on. The tour group and Chris find the whole thing quite thrilling. Jordan is in bad shape. Wyatt finds a first aid kit in the warehouse and attends to Jordan's wound. Her leg is burnt deep but they cannot stay in the warehouse as spiders try to get inside. A spider comes in through the fireplace at Olivia's house. Instead of running, she fights the lava-spitting spider, screaming, You messed with the wrong house. The tour bus is blowing smoke after the encounter with the spider. The bus explodes, but Colton and the passengers get off just in time. Chris and Colton meet Pirate Jack, an old friend of Colton's. They used to work together in movies during Colton's heyday. The TV is full of news about the new fire-spitting arachnids and Colton stealing a tour bus. Wyatt and his friends keep running inside the warehouse to evade the spiders. The army is mobilized to fight the spiders. Olivia grabs a gun and joins them. As another earthquake rattles Los Angeles, roads start erupting, spewing huge spiders into the open. People are running for their lives, and Colton warns them to escape the streets. A spider almost attacks Chris, but Colton manages to shoot it. 
Pirate Jack comes in his car, and both Cohen and Chris escape the wrath of the spiders. Cohen and friends drive downtown. More spiders are coming out of the melting earth. Cohen and his friends leave the car and run into a museum, where they meet a scientist who sheds more light on what is happening. He says these spiders were called Lava Lantula by the ancient Mayans. They realize that killing the queen spider is the only way to stop the spiders. A spider attacks Wyatt and his friends again, so they must keep running. Wyatt tries to distract the giant spider by spraying it with the fire extinguisher. To everyone's surprise, it works. The military truck evacuating civilians comes under a spider attack. While soldiers perish under lava fire, Olivia hides under a fire blanket. A spider gets on the blanket, but Olivia shoots it from under the blanket. It was a narrow escape. Instead of running away from Los Angeles, Olivia looks for her family in the military truck. In the warehouse, Travis and Jordan, bitten by the spiders earlier, have become hosts for spider breeding. Jordan is the first to go. She has a fit and tragically passes away. Moments later, her body catches fire and baby spiders start coming out of their bodies. Wyatt climbs to the roof of the building and manages to send the location to Colton, who finds a museum encroached by spiders. They manage to escape after killing a few. The scientists and Chris evacuate in a helicopter, but Colton stays to find Wyatt. Colton faces spiders again, but he is saved by Olivia, who arrives just in time in the truck. Olivia is still angry with Colton, but they drive together to Hanson Street to pick up Wyatt. The military seems unable to evacuate people anymore because of the sheer scale of the spider attack. Wyatt climbs down from the roof of the building, only to find a giant lava lantula staring at him. The fire extinguisher has run out of nitrogen. It looks like the end of the road for Wyatt, but Colton and Olivia are right on time. Olivia rams a truck into the spider and saves Wyatt. The spider explodes in a ball of fire as they run away from the burning truck. Colton and Olivia had saved their son in heroic style. Colton finds a fire extinguisher Wyatt had used contained liquid nitrogen. He decides to go to the movie set to find more. He is all over the news again. Colton plans to attack the spider nest with liquid nitrogen with the studio crew. They find a map of downtown LA and study it. They attach C4 to liquid nitrogen canisters and plan to drop them into sinkholes to flush out the queen spider. The movie crew is thrilled at the idea. The crew moved out in several vans, dropping nitrogen canisters strapped with C4 into sinkholes. They even managed to shoot down some spiders. Colton moves out while the crew keeps planting sinkholes with nitrogen. On Colton's mark, the crew detonates the bombs remotely. All except one go off all over downtown LA. Spiders start coming out from the sinkhole near the film crew. They shoot the first attackers, but then the queen spider appears and scares everybody. She is a huge spider, as tall as a building. But Colton has a plan for the queen spider. He has smuggled out the red rocket costume jet suit, made by NASA, for the action movie he starred in from the movie set. The suit has a jet system which enables the wearer to fly. Seeing the queen spider, Colton launches himself from a building and flies into its path, diverting its attention from the film crew below. The spider chases Colton, flying ahead in the red jet suit, spitting fire. Colton flies up on a building and the spider follows. When the spider is far above ground level, Colton drops the remaining bomb directly into the spider's open mouth. The bomb explodes, instantly killing the spider. Colton West is back in the news for his heroic efforts to save the city. With the killing of the queen spider, the rest of the lava-spitting spiders retreated to their homes thousands of feet underground. The firefighters are putting fires out, and much of Los Angeles is now out of danger. When the jet fuel runs out, Colton lands safely in a pool of water and reunites with the film crew and his family. They walk out with Colton still in the Red Rocket costume. The film crew is already planning a sequel to the Red Rocket movie.